So we spend a lot of money on expensive shoes for track and field, mainly to practice. But do we know what we're buying? Do we actually get the right footwear? Mind you, there are so many options to choose from. Adidas, Nike, Puma, New Balance, and a lot more. So in this video, I'm going to be informing you about the different types of track and field shoes, their benefits, and what to look for when buying, as well as providing you with a list of good ones that are available on the market today. It's Ryan here with East Coast Athletics and today we're gonna be talking about track and field footwear. As an athlete, your choice of footwear is very important and have great significance to your performance. So it is very important to purchase the right one for the time of season, the sole purpose of using, and the surface on which you're gonna be running. We also need to take into consideration the actual shape of your feet because some shoes might fit better or may not provide the right amount of support. For example, if you're flat footed, you want to choose a running shoe with great art support. This will help to prevent pain and excessive stress placed on the muscles and joints from repetitive running. When starting base training, it is important to have a comfortable shoes with good cushion as you will be doing a lot of running on multiple surfaces like grass, turf, tarmac, and the track. Especially cross country athletes that aim to cover a certain amount of miles per week. And in a lot of cases, this is done on tarmac. Before I forget, I wanted to let you guys know that it is also recommended by a podiatrist that track and field athletes should change their running shoe every three months. This will prevent the shoe from conforming to the shape of your feet and provide the support that is required over the three month period. If you are a sprinter that runs the one, two or 400 meter, chances are you might not do a lot of road running, but nonetheless, you will still require adequate support from your shoe of choice. The amount of pressure that is displaced during the motion of sprinting by an athlete is enormous. And as such, the right shoe is needed. There is also the need to be light on your feet as a sprinter, so having multiple shoes is a must. This is where flats and spikes comes in. Flats is a thinner, lighter running shoes that is used for running track and field programs like 600 and 500. Spikes on the other hand is for competition but are used in practice as well. Just wanted to add that the Adidas Prime SP, the Nike Zoom Superfly Elite and the Puma Evo Speed are the top three sprint spikes that I have come across that is light, provide good art support and provide good rebound for sprinting. Also, spikes are the only type of track and field shoes that doesn't provide cushion, as it yield a better results when the plate is rigid. For half milers, cross country and marathon, I recommend the Nike Zoom Vaporfly because it provides great cushion and responsiveness for training and competition. I would also add a spikes to that for the half milers and the milers who practice and compete on the track. Preferably the Adidas Distance Star, the Nike Zoom 400, or any Puma spikes of your choice. For sprinters, I would recommend the Adidas Solar Drive, Nike Epic React, Flynet, or the Puma Speed 600 for a warm up. For track work, the Adidas Adizure Prime, Nike Zoom Stake, or Puma Speed 300 would be great. For spikes, I recommend the Adidas Prime SP. Nike Zoom Superfly Elite or the Puma Evo Speed. No need to try and memorize the names because there will be a link in the description below with all the shoes that I've mentioned. Personally, I've been using the Adidas Solar Drive, Adizure Prime and the Adidas Prime SP. 
as I find them to provide me with the best result in terms of cushion and being light on my feet in practice. The Adidas Prime SP, in my opinion, is the best spikes ever made for sprinters because it's light, only weighing 3.4 ounces at size 9 and has a rigid plate for keeping you on your toes and providing great rebound with every step. So guys, that's it for this video. Leave a thumbs up if you like the video, click the subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and last but not least, enable notification to receive future videos. Again, it's your boy Rayon with East Coast Athletics, signing out. Peace.